Hello! Look guys, I drew... What side? A fucking the mirror. I drew a little heart. Can you see it? For Valentine's Day. I'm going to just draw a heart and hope you guys don't think it's a mole. <laughs> if anyone thinks it's a mole, I'm immediately removing it because I am already regretting my decision as soon as I saw it. Yeah, I'm regretting this decision. I might just wipe this off. <laughs> the shaved eyebrows itty enough. No! <laughs> No, you're already roasting me, Tasty! <laughs> Looks like a circle f- Okay, 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 okay. You've said, you said it, you said it, I'll get the oh. Jesus. Easy peasy. It was like it was never there. Incredible. Move it, I was only joking. Don't say it's too late! It's too late, buddy! I also have my fancy perfume that I got on. Oh, it smells so good. I'm so obsessed with it. I keep spraying it just- Yeah, guys, have a sniff. It's very good. Have a sniff. I know. I kn How nice is that? How nice? Give it a- <sighs> Hello, this is Future Stream Ara. Today we are, and we were, ranking DMs I've received. We rank them from S to F, and we have a list of everything, and we rank together based on what we think is funny or memorable, or even a respectable thing to say. <laughs> Please get your popcorn ready, sit, have fun. There was some very juicy ones. There are some that have literally made me laugh out loud in the past. Some very good DMs in here. These aren't a submission based thing. These were based off like a time where I can tell these are authentic. In the intention of being completely in DMs and will stay there. They didn't think they would ever come out. So they were like, I'll just say whatever I can say because no one's going to ever see it. But little did they know, a few years later, I will be streaming it and we will be ranking the DMs based on a few criteria points. I made a little thing for it here, a little presentation. This is how we'll rank them. Question one, is it attention grabbing? Did I immediately think, wow, this is the kind of message I want to see, or is this so disturbing that I'm kind of intrigued? Two, does it evoke a certain emotion? It doesn't have to be a good emotion. It can be a bad emotion, but an extreme, how much of that emotion, how evocative of a comment is it? Also, yes, Doug, Dougie's here. It's Doug, guys. We'll do a round of applause. Thank you, thank you. He's black and can't see him. And then the third is, is it memorable? Do I remember this situation or message to this day? And depending on these things, or will you guys remember it from here on out? Will you remember it in the future? Like, damn, what a f***ing weird DM. Um, imagine sending the DM and watching this stream right now. I think most of the DMs I got back were back in the Instagram days. Um, I'm not bringing up random messages that people write in chat because the random messages that people write in chat are clearly for their own public humiliation. So that's like on them. So I wanna preface it with, if you guys ever find whoever did these DMs, please don't ever message them or anything because I'm sure it was a long time ago and they've grown as people, but it's not really about them. It's just about like the fact that they thought it was okay to make these messages. We're just going to have a lighthearted laugh at weird attempts to gain my attention. And they, in a, in a sense, did work, didn't they? We'll start off with, this is basically my intro photo for how I, how I started on Instagram, but basically the idea behind Instagram was it was a uni project. It was very different from the way I perform or present myself now. Basically hyper edited photos of myself and deliberately made mistakes. I also put the how to do it to him guy hidden in the photo. So if anybody can see the photos I currently have now, some of them still have this guy on it. So the project was for uni and it was basically to show how instant gratification and mindless consumption of content molded viewers that were not perceptive in certain climates like Instagram. But eventually I grew to just like the process of editing and posting daily and Stuff. But I also didn't like the audience that I'd created. So I moved to other platforms like Twitch and TikTok after finding a love for things like content creating. So a good example of what this kind of attention incited. Beauty, I'm looking for a sugar baby that I'm gonna be paying $4,000 twice as weekly allowance. So immediately we're looking at a DM where a guy tries to hit you up with money. I think this was like a, like a scam because they were like, okay, but you have to give me a gift card from Amazon first. 
So the swindler started on IG. Yeah, this is literally like the Tinder swindler. My friend asked me to respond because they were like, this could be real. What if you got money? And then she nearly fell for that. Like when I said, oh, they want an Amazon gift card. This is clearly fake. She was like, oh, but what if you try it and it's real? And I'm like, well, you can't return it. Um, she nearly fell for it. So it's like, I'm sure there's definitely someone who's fallen for something like this. But this is a message. Where do you think this would go? It's not really memorable because it actually is quite frequent, unfortunately. It's very average. I put it in like C tier, I think, yeah. You reckon in F tier, interesting. I'll put it a bit lower, I'll put it in D tier because there are some more interesting ones. One of the first DMs I got, this was like very early on in my time and I didn't bother blurring this out because I thought their name was kind of important here. This is from Giantess Fan 001 with a DP of a girl with a foot. Like she's about to step. Would it be all right if you take a giant test photo of you? And I was like, what the fuck is that? Barefoot, so I can feature you in a shout out on my page. They have 2,400 followers, right? And I checked their profile. I was like, what the shit is that? And it's literally just photos of like women stepping on like the camera. It's so weird. I was like, what part of Instagram am I on? Showcasing the best giant testers on the planet. Used to be Giantess Fan 101 and Giantess Fan 121, but got deleted again. You would look six foot tall from the angle though, that is true. But I would also look like I had like size 20 feet. I have very small hands, so you'd think I'd have small feet. I actually have like average size feet, small body, short body, small hands, average size feet. Go figure. Considering this was one of the first DMs I got, it was very strange there's a video too i never watched that very strange don't at me for being with optus please thank you <laughs> so i thought this was very funny where do you guys think this dm goes a yeah <laughs> it is a f it's a good dm to be fair it intrigued me to keep going with the project because i was like if this is the kind of shit i'm getting will it get worse from here a for a bigfoot so i also had a few messages like this where it was like you're the baddest girl i've ever seen no response Get used to the DMs, because you don't know what's about to hit, lol. <laughs> what the f*** does that mean? He started with the you're the baddest girl I've ever seen, and then when I didn't respond, he, he then said get used to DMs, because you don't know what's about to hit, like you're gonna f*** blow up. I never really did. Where do you reckon this would go, guys? In the bin with him? <laughs> Personally, I don't think this really evoked much emotion for me either. And it wasn't very memorable because it was kind of like just one of those like, it's it's quite common for when you kind of introduce yourself as some kind of content creator, when you've just started off, people will constantly bring up that they're predicting when you're gonna blow up. And they'll be like, here before 100K or something. Like people will say this a lot. And I feel like they say that to everyone because it's like, I've gotten it a few times, but it's sort of like, do you say this to every girl <laughs> you see? Is this to every content creator? <laughs> so I reckon I'll put this in like maybe, maybe F tier. This might be an F tier one. Cause it was kind of like presumptuous. I feel like it was a bit, all talk, no walk. Yeah, hundred percent. This one comes from, and I didn't blur out the username either because I thought it was really important. From Playboy, 69 69755. Hey, please reply, please. Hey, lol. They messaged me like this for like a period of weeks. I don't know what it is about people on Instagram, but they like, they show you like the most generic, like throwaway account username, no profile picture and expect and like demand response. You could be an eight year old boy. You could also be like a 64 year old man with like three grandchildren and a wife who's just exhausted from your <laughs> <laughs> Do you think like by the 12th time they'll convince you to reply? You can tell the vibe of desperation where they will do everything in their power to get you to respond. They might comment, like I think this guy commented and stuff to get like a response from me. Commented, messaged, spammed. Actually, interestingly enough guys, this F tier message from this guy, but he used to constantly unfollow me and re-follow me so I got the notification and then unlike photos and re-like all of them. People did this a lot, like he was probably the biggest offender, but he would constantly, and I mean constantly, like throw these notifications in. And it's like, like I always, I remember a lot, but I don't think you want to be remembered in the way I'm remembering you if you do that, you know? So I thought I should just bring that in. He's already an F tier, so it can't really get any lower than that. So there's no real point. Where do you think the spam goes to? You reckon it's F? I think it's F2, especially because it's like, it is demanding and that's the problem with, the F tier is pretty much like the demanding tier, the tier where you think you deserve things. When you spam and you don't even have a DP, 
it actually means a lot. It basically means you think that you can DM a girl who shows her face, a personality, presents herself online. You think you can show nothing and expect response. Are you kidding me? <laughs> You're famous now, gr girl, girl, babe, post pics of your body. This was a very normal uh, message I got a lot where people would like DM <coughs> and like demand butt pics. Very gross, but it was really good for my uni project. I was basically like, this evokes disgust, but it wasn't memorable, but it does disgust me. So I guess I'm going to have to put this in D, D with the sugar daddy because it's got the same like aesthetic, right? Demands. <laughs> He should have definitely added more flair to this, been like, bitch, show your tits, please. <laughs> no, <Nah>, don't. <laughs> the owner of the cat uses a fake profile pic. I reckon what it was is a throwaway account. There are a lot of people who used throwaway accounts to follow, which was also interesting from my, from my project. I mentioned that a lot of people who followed me did not follow with accounts that looked like they were of much popularity at all. In fact, they never posted anything themselves. So it felt a lot of people were just getting these like, what's it called? Not a finster, but basically like a throwaway spank bank. Very funny, but very good for DMs. But yeah, it's okay when you have a great ass. They were just, they just sort of assumed I had a great ass. I don't know where they got that idea. My ass actually looks like a uh, job of the heart. But I reckon this made me really pissed because it was like, they said this when I like was kind of like either self-deprecating or like either just sad. People would make these comments like this. Love your colon, babe. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's very funny, Sasha. <laughs> It was a little memorable, actually. This one was kind of funny because it was like the f the standards. They're on the floor. <laughs> the chances are a lot better in real life. Yeah, I think you could say nothing and have a better chance of getting women just for next Valentine's Day, guys. <laughs> say anything else. This one's really funny. I posted a photo finally of like my computer rig that I'd built, right? Just to see what kind of people that would attract. It immediately went from gross harassy comments to <laughs> it, uh, okay people who tried to get my attention by doing like skyrim pickup lines so this one was halt by looking this good you have committed crimes against skyrim and its people what say you in your defense and i remember that day i was laughing really hard at hans mcmike if anyone knows hans mcmike it's hans mcmike and i saw this on tumblr and i thought it was the funniest thing and i laughed all day so i responded this is the only DM, by the way, that I ever really responded to that was of this weird pickup line's nature. So it actually, believe it or not, gets worse from here. So after I did F*** Hans McMike response, he says, Lamau 100, didn't respond, and then he says, I kind of want to simp you. Okay, uh, weird. And this is why I never respond to DMs, because it's like, if I do, what if this happens again? So, and then he says, and then, wait, wait, wait for it, boys. Oh, wait, you probably don't know what that means. He doesn't think I know what simping means? I'm sorry. Does he really think I was born yesterday? I posted him hands like a mic. Obviously, I was a woman of great knowledge. And then, obviously, I didn't respond because I had already done God's work. I had already done my bidding. And then he responds with, not interested in random DM sliders I see. And it's like, you, okay, you gotta, you gotta stop. So this one was a very, very cringe series. I'm just gonna put it as the picture because I think that's the most memorable part was actually, for me, was the fact that I actually responded. I do think this is S tier though. The whole thing was S tier. The fact that he was so cringy and he told me he didn't think he, I knew what simps were. I kind of want to simp you works about once every duration of the big bang. Do you think anyone has ever said, holy f they want to simp me? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I didn't, I don't think it did the text of speech. I'm sorry, I'll read it out, pretending to be the text of speech. Like I said, hot take. F hands could have recovered it, but he literally f***ed it up. The worst possible way. <laughs> yeah, he did. He mansplained what simping is. That's, that is impossible to come back. Like that is like the worst thing you can possibly say in any field in in anything he <laughs> hit every rock on the way down yeah so this is a good example of the problem with instagram if anyone ever wants to become like insta famous you're gonna set yourself up for failure and i only used instagram to prove a certain nature of people 
But if you actually wanted to create content, it was going to be your f I'm ki sorry, kiddo. <laughs> it's very difficult because when I started, a lot of people didn't think that I was real. They thought I was stealing the photos, but they were actually me. So it was like weird anyway. So this person said, how have you not blown up yet? And it was three weeks. I had started the account three weeks ago. You look like you fit all the criteria of one of those beautiful women on Insta with like 100K followers. But all I see is bot accounts in your comments. You sure you're not a catfish? By the way, very photogenic and your eyes. So the problem I sort of was like annoyed with, and I'm still kind of annoyed at it now, um, cause I do get it sometimes where people are like, oh, you're really underrated. Well, in a content creator sphere, when you're sort of kind of create your branding, and it's kind of your responsibility to make sure that you have as many eyes on you as you can get, really. When people tell you that you don't get that many views that you should be, it kind of feels like a backhanded compliment because it's like half my job is to try and make sure that I can ensure that kind of exposure. So when people say things like, and then especially on Instagram, when it was like, how are you not a bot account? Because you don't have that many, like, oh, your followers are like bots or whatever. I felt, I felt like I fit like an uncanny valley where it's like, no one wanted to follow me because everyone thought I was fake. So I couldn't grow. And because I couldn't grow, I couldn't be like, seen as like a real person. So it was like this like loop. You can't really make stuff on Instagram and expect popularity for a very, very, very long time unless you use other platforms like Twitch. So it was like, so you get, you get like no exposure on Instagram and a lot of people think you're fake anyway if you start off, you know, grassrootsy. So, and then another thing as well, everyone who has like a billion followers on Instagram is usually very fortunate when it comes to like connections. So they'll have a lot of like friends in that area or they would have started off in like LA or something. So I'm going to put it as how have you not blown up yet as the as the thing. Yeah, I'll put it in C. C seems to be like the best place of like backhanded but memorable comments. This is the same kind of thing. This is like, I was getting it all the time. Followers validated your existence really. And if you never, if you can't get there, well, you're never gonna get there. The rich stay richer on Instagram essentially, right? You can't get anywhere on Instagram alone. Same thing goes like if you're good at a game, people will be like, have you not blown up on like Twitch? It's a thing. <laughs> the only place that didn't really do that was TikTok, I guess. Next up, we've got, you are absolutely stunning. <laughs> didn't respond four hours later, like absolutely gorgeous. I like how they used absolutely twice, but anyway. Then uh, a month later, they said, you know, you look a lot like my future wife. <laughs> I really like this one because it's like, they kept coming back. They were like, okay, what if I said they look beautiful in a slightly different way? And then they were like, oh, well, I'll bring up the fact that I want to marry you. So it like genuinely a very awful way to bring it up to someone, especially since we're all agents of free will. I felt like they saw me as someone who wasn't an agent of free will. He said, I got to let this marinate a couple weeks, then come back. Dude, literally, he waited a month before coming back and being like, I'm going to propose to her now. Where do you think this one goes? I personally think it's like, it's interesting the effort they put in. This won't work on anyone and it, I, it's not memorable, but it's not offensive. I'm not upset about it. So I'm gonna put, I might put it in D. Um, this guy, this guy in general was very demanding. He had about a hundred followers and he did trace art. And trace art is a very popular form of art on Instagram where guys will use the pen tool and Photoshop and think they're some kind of God. I can show you exactly what I mean. Uh, they will use a photo as like a layer. So let's say I use the, gotta do it to them guy, right? They use the pen tool, opacity at like 20%, and then they like trace around with the pen tool and then just like stroke path like this. And then they do that the entire way. So that's what this guy did. And so he asked me if he could have like a photo of me, basically like, I would be honored if I could use your photo for my art. And I was like, I would love to do that. But he was so demanding. He was like, I thought it would be a larger one. Like I thought it would have your entire body. Cause what this photo was just like shoulder up. It was basically like the profile picture of mine for Twitch, right? But the photo version. I thought it would be a larger one down to stomach and hips. Cause he wanted, he like really liked half nude photos. It was so weird. It was like, he was so classically like those dudes who think they're like, you know, artsy fartsy, but they're actually just like, they're just super straight. <laughs> they're just super hetero. He's asking for like a photo where I had like more of that kind of thing. And he was very demanding. He wasn't even nice about it. He was very rude. Wait, was I not sketching a Volvo the f <laughs> Yeah, so he, he like would slowly like, he would push the envelope of like what, like he wanted me to take personal photos for him. I don't have the time. And also like, this is a uni project. I'm not doing whatever the f you want to do. This 
this is not the 1500s exactly such a weird thing for him to say because it was not exactly like you know i don't really have that time of the day i have a funny essay to write about this shit. so where do you think this one goes guys this guy he was he believed he was an artist he literally just traced photos of people who did the art for him he wasn't exactly painting like one of those french women exactly he was tracing me like one of his porn mags <laughs> it's not particularly memorable but it's strangely demanding kind of like that's a d message it is a bit memorable he is so entitled he's so arrogant i'm so mad oh this one's a really long one. Oh my god okay 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 i kind of forgot about this guy i didn't really i kind of did wish i forgot about him more okay i'll read it out for you guys um it's so f weird okay so this guy was from Russia and he sent, and I didn't see any of his messages. And then when I did, it was all like 28 messages. So he goes, hi, Arabella, I'm Basil from Moscow. My English is not very good, but I do my best. Of course I write to you because you're extremely beautiful, but I'm sure that you have a good sense of humor too. False, I'm very unfunny. <laughs> so you'll understand me. I'm a simple suburban guy. And it's a little bit funny for me to write to So Pretty Girl from Melbourne, from another part of the world. Are you studying at the university now? I saw some old cameras in your profile in one of the photos. Are they yours? And he asked me if I'm into the photography. And that was an interesting thing as well. I just had like things in the background and they weren't mine. They were just backdrops. And people would like try and piece together as much as they could about my character as possible. So much. You'll see it later as well. Every single small detail they could get, they believed I was some kind of photo god. No. I'm not. <laughs> if, they, if it were the case, my photos would have been better. I see, perhaps there are a lot of guys who write you similar things. I see. <laughs> I'm just the similar guy. But I study gemology in Moscow University. You know, Burmian rubies, Colombian emeralds, and of course, Australian opals. I just want you to know that I completely forgot that Australians had like some kind of jewel. I forgot opals were an Australian thing. So if I, maybe two or three years later, if I will visit your city just for business, if I write you, will you answer? Well, I wasn't answering now. So <laughs> he starts messaging me uh, like the next day at 4 a.m. Obviously I'm not responding to 4 a.m. messages, but anyway, he goes, okay, imagine that I'm your reporter in Russia. What would you want to know? Arabella, I know you're rolling your eyes when reading this, or maybe it just disturbs you and you scroll down, but I'm really not a dirty guy who will just write it just for fun. I have just a little hope that you will write only f off you Russian nobody and it will change all my next day really without any jokes this guy's having a conversation with himself I know it was like he was venting it was weird and then he sent like a thing with his Instagram because I liked a comment he said like you know this was a nice photo and I liked it and I didn't realize it was him on his other account he had two accounts following me and he goes this is actually my account pranked I noticed how you noticed me then you know you gotta notice me privately it was my comment about the uh, earrings um, I make some jewelry to help our shelter side note when this was happening he would spam photo like likes of my things right he would spam and then this guy commented I took this right here he says I took this to and then tagged a girl he tagged someone and said, I took this. I took that photo. This guy was claiming that he took the photos I took. And then he goes, and this is one of her asking one of herself. That was a mirror photo. When this happened, I woke up in the morning and he's tagging a girl trying to impress her that he was taking my photos. What the f***? It was such a weird thing. I wasn't following him. Clearly, if I was following him, maybe this was true. But it was so f***ing strange, so I deleted his comments. I didn't know what to do. And she responded with, Oh, wow, cool. I've never had someone try to claim a This was a mirror selfie. I had a mirror. What the hell? Okay, so this, just because of the audacity, we'll put him an S. We'll put him... Up here with fuck hands McMike, S tier. Good on you, mate. Stealing my work on my profile, the nerve. The f nerve. About the earrings, I made some jewelry to have a shelter, and this was happening. That comment happened in between this long ass life story, and I couldn't see any of these. This is Dasha and old Arisha. That's how we fill the elevator. I don't know. We live on the 10th floor. And here we are walking in the forest near our house. He's literally explaining his life. Just absolutely, yeah. So he kept doing that for a while. Gotta admire the persistence and the sad level of self-delusion. Sometimes it felt like it was like he was being reflective. And I think that was a very common thing you find in DMs, right? Where people will comment or write things to you, but it's actually just sort of them trying to vent to like an empty, like to the idea of you. Like they know they're not, you're gonna respond. 
but they like the idea that you like they're technically speaking to you which is a very a very sad parasocial hell hole so where do you think that goes the really long message i think this might be a or b it was very memorable it was very memorable so it does fit memorable i liked russian guy at first but that went really f <laughs> oh my god it's georgie holy f <laughs> georgie thank you so much georgie wow so good to see you cheers to you mate oh my gosh i feel like ara should have like a hundred gift subs are you sure you're not a catfish literally so i wrote i did this and then they said there was no obstacle for us to get married i like what what's the obstacle my rejection <laughs> the only obstacles being the fact that i'll say no right it's memorable i think i would put it in d with the same one where it says you look a lot like my future wife the only obstacle is my consent <laughs> The no obstacle message has strong. I would drag my balls through 10 miles of broken glass just to hear her fart through a walkie talkie vibes. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, a little bit. I feel like that's Kansbuck Mike guy as well though. I feel like he had strong drag his balls through broken glass. This one's one of my favorite ones. And I remember this one all the time because it's literally like the meme. So he said, Arabella, what a beautiful name and so cute women. And then at the end here, he says, fuck you, don't see. Or f mm. you don't see, but I don't know how he says it. Does he say mm. you don't see, or mm. you don't see, or mm. you don't see? Personally, this is such a meme response. Very memorable, very memey. Mm. You don't see. I don't know. I feel like it's an A comment, guys. I feel like it's an A comment. It's just so funny. He waited so long, really pushed himself out there. Sounds more like he's upset you didn't see the first message. Smacks of desperation. And that's what I think is hilarious, is like, the fact that I didn't respond caused him to be aggressive and entitled to a response. And that's the one of the funniest types of DMs you can get. A lot of people thinking you owe it to them, that they want to know you carnally. They have like a wank ego. Like, if I've wanked to you, you have to date me now. Common claim. Yeah, wank ego, aka common claim. That's great. That's perfect. This is of a similar vein. Hi, just want to say you should never look at the mirror. If you do, you will surely gonna fall in love with yourself. Already a very strange way, like roundabout way of saying like you hot. A very complicated way to say it. Anyway, of course I didn't respond because I don't respond to any of these except for the fans with my. And then he says, I'm sorry for giving you this compliment. <laughs> Hilarious. That's so funny. It was a nicer way of saying, how dare I? Be nice to you. So he thinks you don't own a mirror. I don't. When I do my eyeliner, it's purely trial and error. <laughs> I think he meant he was sorry because he probably regretted it after you didn't respond. I think if he was extremely embarrassed, he would have just deleted the message. Because you can do that. You can just delete it. You can be like, oh, never mind. This, I have post nut clarity now. I'll delete it. Right? So I think I'm going to put this in B because it's like, yeah, again, he could have just deleted them. He could have just, he could have added on, you know, but he apologized instead. There's DMs on Twitch. There are DMs on Twitch. Don't bother. <laughs> I don't really check him. Sometimes I, I I did for this, but I don't normally check him. Okay, I will not listen to what anyone says about this one. I think this is S tier. Oi, how funny is this? 88st.eve, so Steve says nothing, but my name is Steve. He didn't say anything else. This is a classic. If you see anyone say this in chat, it's clearly, it's the inside joke that is transcended time and space it's zero followers empty nothing all i know about this guy is that it says steve and that's the only thing he told me it's so beautiful i can't even explaining it ruins the joke <laughs> this needs its own category right s for steve though s for steve i like it his name is steve and he wants you to know it <laughs> s for steves s for steves hey editing ara here Sorry, I look like a sex offender from the 80s. I, uh, I am. Oh, fuck. Um, I'm, I'm just editing at the moment. I wasn't supposed to film, but there was no real end, so I'm here. So I've had to cut this video into two sections. This is part one. I meant to post once a month after that first video I made, the Jump King one. It's been, uh, it's been about four months now, so... Uh, oops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It was very hard to cut out a lot of the content because a lot of it's just really good. Next video, you will be seeing some email DMs. I know why, why, right? There, are, there was also this cowboy. There was literally a, a literal cowboy who tried to win me over. I, I could not elaborate more. I'm sorry. You'll have to wait, but it's really <laughs> good. <laughs> if you like this video, please subscribe so you get the notification on the next part. 
This video came from a stream I did a few months back. I do streams like this quite regularly. If you want to watch videos like this on demand, but live, my Twitch is here. I'm merely partner, so I would appreciate it if you checked that out. If I do end up getting YouTube partner one day, I will be using that money to fund my retirement or to fund my collection of frogs on skateboard tattoos. I won't say which one I'm more likely to be doing, but I have booked a few things, but I won't say what. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. Even just being here at this stage of the video is a big deal. Please share, like, and do all those thingos. And I hope to see you soon. I'm nearly done editing the next part of the video anyway, so it will be out shortly. Just make sure that you're notified for when it does come out. I also have a very active Discord server if you wanna check that out. All the links are in the description anyway. So yeah, thank you so much. Bye.